Just look at how amazing this is! I can't believe how the modern tortoise area has completely rejuvenated the side of the zoo! Who knew that my deep abiding guilt over what was happening to our poor Galapagos tortoises that were basically shoved into a terrible dirt pen would transform into something so amazing. I love this, you guys! Look at how we have transformed this area into a lovely modern mecca where we are finally ending up with guests popping back to this section of the zoo and where we will hopefully very soon have the Red Raft Lemur exhibit. I am so excited for that. I just cannot wait to be able to add it in, have everybody walk over next to the Red Raft Lemurs, walk across the bridges. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. Past the waterfalls. It's going to be a great time. All right, let's wiggle down here and take a peek at how the cave is doing. Looking absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely. I can still see our tiny, oh, look, there's one on the leaf. There's a little tiny, tiny frog on the leaf. Oh, that's so precious. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Oh, I love you. You're so cute. Hold still, I really want to look at you. Oh my gosh, it's on the little philodendron leaf, you guys. How could you not just a thousand percent fall in love with that. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Well, hopefully those guys will do quite well as well. Uh, and Alclemy is about to mate. Oh, yes. Alclemy. Wait, wait. Alclemy. Okay. That's Oswald because he's, oh, he's maturing. <gasps> okay. How much do bongos go for? Let's pop him. Oh, he's going to fight immediately if he matures. Oh, geez. Okay, into the trade center you go. Yeah, he was immediately fighting with Timber, who I believe... Yeah, Timber is the adult male we have. Did I just put a baby bongo into a box? I think I just put a baby bongo into a box and I didn't mean to. No, we have Fig and Oswald in here. Okay, how much do bongos go for on the market right now? Let's find out. Bongo, bongo. Greater Flamingo. We don't need the Flamingo. We're focusing on the Bongo. Oh, wow. There's not many Bongos on the market for healthy ones. And East, the Flamingo has died. Oh, dear. He couldn't even wait for the Cherry Blossom Festival we were going to have. Um, I mean, let's try to trade these ones because they have good fertility. So we'll just put Persimmon and Fig up just in case. Persimmon's got some good stuff going for her, so since there's no other bongos, we'll just try to trade them. And if they don't happen to trade, that's fine. Here, we'll put Oswald up for like a thousand. There we go. Uh, so we'll, we'll just see what happens there. Meanwhile, East has passed away. Oh, rest in peace, buddy! 57 years old! 57 years old he was! Oh, We'll add in another set of cherry blossoms to memorialize him as well. I have to basically redo this whole area. Holy cow. It really needs a lot of TLC. But that's going to come up in the future. I've been mentioning it for a couple weeks now, but I am planning on doing uh, festivals for our zoo and like special events for our zoo that will give us a chance to reset entire areas and really tidy them up. Flamingo tree east east flamingo tree i think would be a good one for it east flamingo tree all right there we go all right so anyway back to the red ruffed lemurs now that we have handled the issues with the zoo today what we're going to do for the red ruffed lemurs is turn this entire zone into their play area we might add in some other animals if they're compatible like the tapir or we might just keep it purely lemurs Let's see how many lemurs can be in each group. Because I just really have my heart set on the red rough lemur because I haven't had red rough lemurs in any of my zoos yet. We can have up to one male and 29 females. <laughs> and we can also have bachelor groups. So the dominance is matri uh, matriarchal. Interesting. So the females will actually lead the lemur groups. I'm going to have to do a lot of wonderful research on that. Uh, lemurs are very social animals that live in close-knit groups of up to 30 individuals, grooming each other and helping raise each other's young. 
Together, they move through the environment during the day, foraging for flowers and fruit, and will sleep on a tree together at night. Females are dominant in lemur society. Huh. So if that's the case, how much space do they need? 210 is not a lot. Maybe what we'll do is we'll make at least two lemur areas. So let's start by figuring out... Let's grab that null barricade. Let's start by figuring out... 210. What would that look like? Shrink this down a little. If it overlaps the path just a teensy bit right now, that's okay. And then we'll need a little bit of room over here for things to go up for the path. And then we're gonna make the lemur area come down in here. Because there's a nice spot for animals to rest back here. So that would be considered their zone. All right, is that about enough for, that's about half the area right here. So that could be like one exhibit. How big would that be? We have to put down a gate to find out, which is fine. 880, that is more than adequate. We really might be able to shave off the centerpiece and have like one lemur group over here. We could have a bachelor group kind of in the middle. We could have another group with the females and their babies on this side. So at the same time, if we're gonna add in a lot of lemurs, it might be a good idea to have two big areas. Hmm. And then have the bachelor group live on one side. How big can bachelor group be again? That would actually work out because then all the females and one male at a time could be on one side. And yeah, male bachelor groups can be from three to 30. Female groups can be from three to 30. So what we might do is we might just rotate the males in and out. And that way we can always just kind of keep around 30-ish if that many fit in these habitats. That sounds like a wonderful idea. I'm really quite tickled with that. All right, let's go ahead and put down more of the barrier really quickly. Uh, actually, this is for a second habitat, you see. That's why we want them connected, but not the same. All right. And then people will be coming out of the special path over here. And we're gonna want the lemur area to cover the hidden section. Let's wiggle wiggle. Hopefully they won't climb out. Will admit I'm a little nervous. Could have escaping lemurs. Oh dear, there's like literally a hole right there. Note to self, fill in sections with holes. But that might be good for the lemurs, we'll see. All right, then there's a huge section over here basically with some hidden lemur pathways, dun dun dun. Which is probably good because I think I need to get rid of that spot and put in a habitat gate right there. All right, so how big would this section be? Huge, I think. Ah, oh, it's gigantic. I think the females will go over here then because uh, it's so much bigger and that will give them space with the babies. Uh, however, as you can tell, they're just null barriers, so they're just tentative explorations of the zones right now, because we're actually going to make a new path. We're going to lift up this path. Uh, I think because everything is so popular, I want to do just a four, but I'm beginning to fear that this area might be a little popular. Hmm. I probably need a six. And we're going to be very careful because I actually have a really cool bridge I'm about to show you guys. Check this out. Look at this wooden bridge. We're going to be working with... Okay, not that wooden bridge. That one's too small. That's not the one I'm thinking about. I have another wooden bridge. I have a lot of bridges. I've been like obsessively searching and ooing and aahing over the bridges that people have been making. Uh, there's several bridges there. Very... Ooh, I like that one a lot, but that's not quite what we're going for. 
We're not going to do the broken wooden bridge, though. That might be really freaking cool uh, to add in. Oh, that actually would be really cool to add in just as decoration somewhere. Oh, that, that we'll save that for the future. This is a bridge for keepers. I have a really cool wooden bridge that is not... Is it this African bridge? No. Bridge over shallow water. Is it this one? Not the keeper bridge. I already looked at that. This rope bridge? This is not the rope bridge I'm thinking about. I have another one. That's even better. Rope. Rope. Bongos are maturing. Uh-oh. Is that a male? That's a male. We're gonna have to grab him. Get ready, you guys. I think Doris, the... Uh, Pygmy Hippo is maturing, too. See, the bongos are already getting ready to fight. Timber? Oh, and his son! Oh, that's a gold-level son! We'll go ahead and put him away. And I'll have to grab the other one in just a second. Man, poor Timber! Like, all of his sons are growing up, and he's like, ah, they're, they're all going to fight me. And Doris, where did Doris the Pygmy Hippo go? I could have sworn that she was Hercules' child, but I guess not. We'll go ahead and grab her in just a second. Oh, Optimistic has a, a disease. Curses. We'll call the vet in here in just a second. And Lutao. Oh, don't you dare escape. He's really thinking about it. Lutao. Lutao. What do you think you're doing? Turn right back around. And get back into that exhibit place. Thank you. You almost set off the alarms, you adorable goose. I can't believe he did that. That's really funny. We'll have to grab him when he matures. And where did Doris go? Doris, have you matured? The flamingos are like watching over her. Ah, oh, Doris, I remember when she was just born. Such a small one, that little one. Alright, Lutao. You're going to go ahead and go to the Trade Center, actually. Is he still about to mature, though? Ah, fooey. Alright, we'll have to add him back in. And then try to sell him. Alright, don't mind me. I always forget when the animals mature, it takes a lot longer than you think it would. Uh, and let me find this freaking rope bridge, because that's a little frustrating. I swear I have a really cool rope bridge, you guys! And I was like, oh, they're going to think it's amazing. I found it on the blueprints. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to use it as the guide. Okay, come on. Where is it? Was it this one, after all? African bridge. Maybe it was this one, after all, and I just, like, flipped it? No, 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 no. I know that wasn't it. Is it this one? No. Yeah, the vets should already be on it with the diseased animal. I'm not too worried about that. Alright, well, uh... I'm a little sad about this, guys. Oh, look at this wooden bridge! I'm not sad anymore, guys! <laughs> this one's... Oh, wait, wait, wait! I found it! I found it! That's why I got confused! It's this wooden lamp bridge! Huh! I knew I had a cool bridge somewhere. I knew I did. And I think we can actually make this six wide one two three what we're gonna do is we're going to put this bridge down and basically try to follow this wooden bridge over to this side of the zoo and we're going to try to duplicate this wooden bridge so it's going to be a little tricky because i don't think it's going to want to do that but i think this would be such a cool look to just kind of line this sucker up, merge it all together, remove a few pieces. There! Nice! Okay, let's do this. Also, I think we have another escape tortoise. We'll take care of that in a second. <laughs> Alright, there. It's all merged together. Group edit mode. We'll sneak on in. And remove the middle pieces. Oh, we're doing it. 
Gotta be careful. Okay, yeah, animal has escaped. I'll take care of it in a second. What do you want to bet it's Sylvia again? She's such a hilarious tortoise. Maybe we should add her into one of the other zones now <laughs> to let the baby Galapagos tortoise grow up elsewhere because she just insists on trying to get out. No, 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 I missed. Oh, well, that would be kind of hilarious to just delete like random pieces of <laughs> the logs that are going to hold the whole bridge up. All right. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to find those pieces that hung overhead too. There's even lamps on this. It's gonna look so nice. And there we go. More vent. Poor Timber. He just had a bunch of sons. And they're all aging up and wanting to fight him for alpha status. Yay, look at that, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and maybe move this out of the way and we'll just copy paste it a lot so that we'll be safe. All right, I think whoever escaped managed to get caught again or she decided to turn around and go back inside as the, the giant tortoises sometimes decide to do. Uh, and we're gonna come over. Who is your son fighting you now? Lutao, there you are. You aged up. Lutao, you need to get into the trade center, please. And Fayad has died! Oh, 69 years old. Fayad, you were one of the OG, if I remember correctly. One of the original flamingos. I'm gonna miss him. We'll go ahead and put a little memorial garden for him right over here and try to make it nicer in the future. There. All right. Fay, Fayad, uh, flamingo tree. There. Whew, we have so much to do. Yes, yes, yes. Some of the animals are stressed, but they'll be okay. Alejandro, we can actually go ahead and put you in the trade center to have another healthy male Galapagos tortoise find a new home. The rain is pouring down, so maybe people will really appreciate being like, look at here. They're like, get out of the rain. Just hang out in the caves for a little bit. Awesome. We should have like a little mushroom pop-up shop where they could buy umbrellas from. <gasps> that would be really cool. But let's go ahead and we're gonna try really hard to line the path up just perfectly. We'll do six wide with my dream of how we can make a really cool lemur area in here. I think we might need to raise the lemur area a little higher. There we go. And then I think it just has to go in like straight lines, basically. Straight line this way. And then we'll like turn and rotate. So let's get the bridge up here maybe to get an idea of what this would look like. All right, come on, dream bridge. Make my dreams come true. Up we go. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of expanding, I think, of some of the logs, but we can totally pull that off. And then let's straighten it out a little. So this would be what would happen if we had the bridge here. That's not straight at all. All right. Maybe we do need to just put the path down first, but I wanna get at least an idea of what it would look like if we did this. And then I guess we'll have like a few little curves here and there. And maybe maybe we'll just put this dream bridge piece right up against. Let's do this, I think. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and do this dirt path. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, two. And then one in length. And then maybe we can change it to like stone all of a sudden. <laughs> so you're like walking up on the stones. Why not? We'll even push you through the trees. So we can kind of make that the excuse for why you're suddenly, <laughs> why you're suddenly over here. Uh, and then let's see if I can get 
dream bridge back over here. And lined up again. I think I can get two of them over on this side. If I'm really lucky. And up we go. Oh, I think I might be able to pull it off. Maybe over a little bit. I can even delete some of it if we need to so we can make a rapid downturn. <laughs> All right, we can tidy that up in a little bit. I'm actually just ridiculously excited. This is even mildly trying to work. And then, let's see, rustic path? Just as a little memento. And then, let's see. Hmm. Let's do paths. Let's actually back this up a little bit. And people might start disappearing down half of Dream Bridge. That's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay. Turn. And then we will be grown up and use get rid of the columns. What are you doing putting columns down there? Where are those? Get out of those path, out of their path support. You're ruining my aesthetic. <laughs> All right, turn down, down in here, and then over here, and it's kind of not working, <laughs> but at the same time, it kind of does. You know, if you just are willing. To literally pivot sometimes. Oh, the yeah, the Timberwolves are already maturing. I wonder if that means that their family will end up having more pups soon. All right. In fact, we can actually just like move some of these rocks right over here and get in here. Move some of these plants. So you see, see, everything's better if you're just willing to adjust and pivot a little bit. Get rid of this rock. We can go ahead and move this tree. Look at that cool tree. I love its roots. There! I actually can pivot with that. I can I can totally get behind that. And that actually takes people up and across a pretty cool section. I sort of like how it even touches on the rocks back there. We can make that look a little smoother and add more rocks in. And now we have an area where we can start putting in some lemur exhibits. So, how do I want to do this? I think I do want to go ahead and put in a normal barrier just for now, because I want to be able to get the lemurs in here soon. So let's follow, where does the other half of the exhibit go? Hello? Maybe if I come from this side? Aha, found it. All right. Oh, and Alcleamy is about to mate. Uh, I really hope that's a good thing. I need to make sure she's not mating with somebody she shouldn't. And we'll install still mesh, which is climbable. Don't want to install electric. Don't really want to install concrete. Temporarily install the logs. Uh, and actually logs. Hmm. Logs can't have. Oh, wait. You're all supposed to be logs? Hello? You can't be logs? What? What? Ugh. All right, I can't make it into logs. That's unfortunate. Um, let's come over this way. Can I make this into one-way glass? Glass? Okay, I'm gonna have to individually put down the paths. And resistance, the Okapi is now expecting her second child. Yes. Yeah, we'll have to individually put down some of the pathing that- or like some of the fencing that I'm hoping for on these barriers, but that's okay. Uh, we'll come in here, let's replace this one with some concrete just to get started. And then we'll go ahead and replace some of this with concrete, which I think doesn't need a lot of maintenance. We'll see. Not climbable, which is good. Oh, it's because it goes under the path. I gotcha now. Ah, no, don't delete all that. Okay, we can totally fix that. All right, concrete. We'll have to see how tall we need to make the red rough lemur. 
fencing and our one poor mandrel who has been alone his whole freaking life is about to die of old age rip buddy i am so sorry that i wasn't able to provide you with more i will do my best to improve that situation in the future all right let's come over here and over here nope that's the wrong habitat wait all right we want this line animal is starving that is not good we'll seek to fix that in just a moment and i definitely need to make the fencing better over here oh no why have my keepers not come in maybe it's time for another keeper in the tiger zone well look at all the research we've done we can make these guys so much happier now all right emergency keeper for the tiger zone come on lady take care of this little one no, no, you're, you're going to be here at Tiger Falls. And Tiger Falls definitely needs to include all of this stuff. Okay. I guess we need to rename Tiger Falls to, like, uh, Tortoise Research Area. Animal has died! Oh, rest in peace, Boo. I feel so bad. We're going to redo that whole mandrel area. That's actually on my list. Alright. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. As the rain pours down around us. We're doing our best to stay determined and get, I guess we can actually delete these and we'll get some really, really nice one-way glass mixed in here. What do you think about that? It's actually facing the right direction for once. Hallelujah. That's such a relief. Normally it's like painfully, awkwardly, clearly, completely in the wrong direction. But this time... Huzzah! I've got some nice one-way glass. And... Right here. And then back to concrete. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, and we'll work on fixing the other half of this barrier next time too. All right, maybe I can just make a straight line with okay obstructed all right that's fine just get over there all right there we go we'll, we'll fix this out in a little bit but there we go guys we need to fix a few things about our wonderful bridge that we added in i think the support columns from the path that we put up there will be enough people seem to be having a great time going on the elevated path and just enjoying the view of the waterfall but little do they know they are about to have some red roughed reamers i keep saying that lemurs red roughed lemurs to uh, unwind and watch which should be a lot of fun as long as i didn't make a perfect escape plan for those little guys we'll have to see how things go but all right, our very first red roughed lemurs coming up next time. So if you guys could do please leave a like for our amazing new bridge. I'm sure you too would want to walk across this and straight into the waiting arms of a tree. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.